Hi, my name is Russell Williams. I'm with Amazon Prime Air, and we're here showing our drone, which is for 30-minute package delivery. And what this does is it's a drone that's designed for a 15-mile range uh, from an Amazon fulfillment center or a warehouse to a customer site. Uh, it carries a package that's five pounds and flies at 60 miles an hour at about uh, an altitude of 400 feet AGL. Uh, this particular vehicle is what we call a hybrid vehicle and it's designed to have a vertical takeoff and landing capability so it has lifter motors in the center and then it also is a uh, fixed wing aircraft in forward flight so that's how it gets the speed and efficiency to be able to have the range on one battery charge. This vehicle is a development vehicle that is actually flown. Uh, we're also uh, developing for how uh, we do the, the transit flight, what we call sense and avoid technology. And that technology is a combination of sensors, optical sensors, and radar sensors that is designed to see other aircraft and other potential obstructions during the flight and avoid them. So it would see aircraft, it would potentially see cranes or uncharted towers, anything of that nature. And then once the vehicle gets into a customer's backyard for the landing and the package delivery, uh, it then is capable, using those same sensors, of looking for obstructions, say a um, or safety hazards such as a dog that might be running out towards the drone or someone standing nearby that's too close to the delivery area or perhaps a tree limb or a wire that's in the way of the delivery. And in that situation, the drone would be able to detect it and do the safest thing, which could be to uh, discontinue the landing and the delivery or it could be to shut down and just stop so that there's uh, no safety hazard created. The package is carried internally. If you see here uh, on this display stand, we have a box right here. that. That box and five pound capacity covers about 85% of what people order on Amazon.com. Uh, it's carried internally, and so there's a, a package bay with doors that open up to deploy the drone, or deploy the package, rather. And if you look underneath the uh, package here on this display stand, there's a little target, which has an A on it. And that's how the drone finds where to actually deliver. So when the, uh, the drone arrives at a customer address, uh, it navigates via GPS, but then to let the customer control where exactly the drone should land and the package should be delivered, they place this marker out on the ground and the drone looks for it using a camera and then locates it and lands on top of it. So uh, there's a variety of command and control channels and uh, an operator uh, today for our R&D flights is supervising the flight, but it's a fully autonomous vehicle and so there's no direct stick control. It's all controlled through our software channel uh, with mission directives such as fly to this location, fly this path, um, begin a, a landing sequence and then deliver a package. You've seen online that the Part 107 knowledge test isn't easy. It's not something you can go in alone. Let us be your guide. Let our 57 full 4K training videos really hold your hand and take you through the course step by step to better understand complex topics like airspace, charts, METARs and TAFs and aviation weather. You're able to test on and see the actual FAA Part 107 questions. And lastly, we're gonna help you submit your application to the FAA. Visit remotepilot101.com to learn more.